Hi friends! Today is going to be the after social distance book fest tag. This tag was created by the wonderful Beautifully Bookish Bethany who was also the event organizer for the social distance book fest. If you missed the book fest, which at this point I don't know how you could have because I mean we were all over social media, it was crazy. There were, is a link in the description box below that is permanently there that will be the list of panels, the playlist of all of the panels from the day so that you can catch up on anything that you may have missed. It was a super fun day and Bethany decided to create this after the fest tag for us to be able to talk about some of our favorite things that happened during the day. The first question is a new author or book that you want to check out. For me that is going to be The Beauty of Your Face by Sahar Mustafa. If you don't know I was the head of the giveaways department for the fest and Sahar was one of the very first people to reach out to me to do a giveaway so I had a little more time to actually look into her book and what it was about because it was so much further ahead of the fest whereas a lot of things were planned pretty close to. The Beauty of Your Face is about a woman who is the daughter of Palestinian immigrants and she is the principal at an all-girls Muslim school in the Chicago suburbs and it is set at a time when there is a school shooter in the school who is targeting the school because of online alt-right um, media and that sort of thing and the book follows her going through listening to the progress of what the school shooter is doing but also being reminded of things that happened. The bigotry that she's seen as a child, her older sister's disappearance, her mother's always wanting to go back to Palestine and just is a whole progress of that sweeping arc. And the last part of the Goodreads says, The beauty of your face is a profound and poignant exploration of one woman's life in a nation at odds with its ideals. And I, A, the cover was beautiful, but also reading the description definitely made me want to pick that up. It is one that I definitely want to check out in the future. The second question is, what was the most interesting panel? And for me, that was family, friendship, and determination in mid-grade fiction. The reason why that was the most interesting panel for me was even my cat liked it. Merlin, for some reason, thought that the mid-grade panel was amazing. I will insert a picture here. She literally sat in front of the computer and watched it for like 20 minutes. She was watching the authors as they spoke, which everyone was talking. She would like turn her head and listen to them. And it was just the best time. It was a very fun panel anyway. Mid-grade is always a fun panel. And it just was so entertaining that even the cat was just amazed by the entire thing. Three, the most interesting or insightful panel that was for me the Navigating Latinx Identity and Fantasy. We have discussed it before. It is one of my goals is to read outside of my own experience. So I'm trying to read more outside of pale ass white girls whether it's in contemporary or in fantasy. So the Latinx panel was definitely an interesting one for me to catch because it gave me a whole bunch of new books that I want to look into. Next is the softest or sweetest panel. For that I went with New Voices in YA Science Fiction and Fantasy. That entire panel was the absolute sweetest group of people and it was just some amazing amazing authors on there with books that are coming out that I want to read. I bought a few of them already. Um, I'm just I'm so excited for everything coming from that group of people. That group was um, Aiden Thomas, Alicia Dow, Namina Ford, Romina Garber, and Jvita Thakar and they were just the absolute sweetest people. They were so much fun to watch. Um, some of them I had heard of before, some of them I hadn't. I really enjoyed that panel. It was probably my favorite of the day, excluding my own because my panel was just me hanging out with my friends. Speaking of friends and the YA SFF panel, the next question is an author you would want to be friends with. 120% I would want to be friends with Aiden Thomas. If you're not convinced by the panel, just follow him on Twitter. Like it is, <laughs> his Twitter is life in these dark times. 
let's put it that way. An author you want to hear more from, uh, for me that would be Lori M. Lee. I am very interested in her book that is coming out or has come out earlier this year. It is, I believe, Forest of Souls. My phone is blowing up so I hope that that's not interrupting. Definitely want to hear more from her. Something that surprised you absolutely the continued response on the fest. There have been so many amazing replies and responses and just so much going on and all of the love from you guys has just been absolutely wonderful and we're still sharing things with each other in our group chat on our discord where we have been doing all the organizing. We're still sharing things with each other uh, when we get like a really nice message or something like that and it, it's it's really fun and I love that there are still people that are catching the lives for the first time. It has been so much fun getting to see how everyone feels about the whole situation. If you are not following us on social media already, they are linked in the description box below and I know that the Instagram team is posting posts quite often still. Thank yous for the team that kind of helped us make this happen. How many books did you buy request from the library or add on Goodreads? It is an uncountable number of what I added on Goodreads. Literally uncountable. I already had arcs of The Gilded Ones by Namina Ford and Lobizona by Romina Garber, but I also purchased and have already received the Southern Book Club's Guide to Vampires by Grady Hendrix. This was actually one of my most anticipated releases for the year, so this one was already on my radar anyway, but also The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow. Um, Alicia is like the sweetest person on the planet. I would kill for her. She is wonderful and I just had to support her. There are other authors that I do plan to buy from but I tried not to do any pre-ordering right now and I will pre-order them a little closer to the date of rather than have like a bulk pre- I'm really bad about pre-ordering ordering things and forgetting that I pre-order them and then I end up with three copies of Blood Witch, okay? It's a problem that I have and so I'm trying to wait until a little closer to the date of to pre-order things but I have a list of when things come out so... I'm gonna keep up on that. And the last question is, would you attend the fest again in the future? Not only would I attend it again, I would also participate in organizing again. And surprise, it is time for an announcement. As a matter of fact, we are coming back. You guys have requested it so much for us to continue on with the Social Distance Book Fest and to have another one next year. And so the core group of us who did the organizing have decided that we want to do that again for you. And not only are we planning on doing a big event again next year, we are also introducing and starting a new kind of smaller event, which will be called Bookmarked by the Social Distance Book Fest. Bookmarked will consist of different features, community events, and discussions. And honestly, we have already started working on some projects that we are wanting to get to, but we don't have anything finalized yet. So we will be announcing more of that as things move forward. So again, if you're not following us on social media, please do, because that's where you're gonna hear all of this first. I hope you guys enjoyed the fest and I hope that if you did enjoy it that you will do this tag and let us know as time goes on uh, books that you have caught from the fest and if you enjoyed them, some of your favorite authors, maybe who you would like to see again in the future. We're planning on having more planning time next year because this year we put the entire event together in about five weeks. So hopefully next year we have some more time and like I said, if you're following us on social media, you will get all of the updates from there. And I'm sure that myself and Bethany and the other organizers will be keeping you up to date on our social media as well. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe, and until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!